السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I'd like to share with everybody the story of Umar bin al-Khattab which is a very interesting story a very amusing story Umar bin al-Khattab was very very angry when the two envoys returned from Abyssinia and they weren't able to retrieve the Muslims who had sought the refuge of the Najashi. He was very, very upset about that. He was also the nephew of Abu Jahil. And Abu Jahil, in fact, went up to Umar and told Umar, listen, if you kill that Muhammad who has caused all the division in Quraysh, I will pay you something like a hundred camels, or it was a lot of property, I don't know exactly. So, Umar immediately set out for the house of Muhammad والسلام, with the intention to kill him. On, on his way, with his sword drawn, he meets this gentleman by the name of Nuaim. Nu'ayn bin Abdullah, if the book is correct. And Nu'ayn bin Abdullah saw him with the sword and said, where are you going to, son of Khattab? He said, I'm going to kill that Muhammad who has caused the great division in Quraysh. Nu'ayn was secretly a Muslim. And he feared for Nabi Muhammad, alayhi salam, salam, but so he wanted to rush and warn him so he told him something that would detract him a little bit he said don't you think you should go to your own home first before you kill muhammad and omar said to him what are you talking about he said your sister fatima and her husband khabab they have embraced islam they have accepted Islam. So immediately Omar turned around and went straight for the house of his sister. And in the house of his sister, Khabab, Fatima, the two of them were being taught by a Sahabi. And they were reading from a surah in the Quran, which is Surah Taha. Omar burst in on the door and said, What is that that I heard you what is that that I heard you reading? They said nothing. And Fatima hid the leaf of the Quran under her gown. They were really Muslims. They had already accepted Islam. So Omar bin al Khattab immediately attacked her husband, Khabab, knocked him to the ground, was standing or sitting on his chest, and he said to him, you have accepted Islam, haven't you? Fatima tried to come to the aid of her husband, of course, and Omar put his arm up and knocked her back, and the result is she started bleeding from her face. Omar became upset when he saw his sister bleeding, and that softened his heart a little bit. So he said to his sister Fatima, please show me what it is that you were reading. And she said to him, no, my brother, you are nejis, you are impure, you are dirty, you must take a bath first. So he went and washed up, and he came back, and he promised that he would return the manuscript. And he started reading from the leaf, which said, until it says, La ilaha illallah. And Omar was greatly softened by this, and he said, These words did not come from a human. These words must have come from Allah. 
Where is Allah? I have based off of my hobby. Allah is everywhere. Where is Muhammad? So they told him he's at Darul Arqam. So immediately he turned around and he went to Darul Arqam and he knocked on the door. Probably almost broke it down. Everyone saw Omar and they were afraid. There's even a saying in, in, in Arabic that even the shaitan, when he sees Omar, turns away or runs away. So they saw Omar and they were all very, very frightened. Oh my God, it's Omar, it's Omar, he's going to kill us. Hamza, who had embraced Islam two days earlier, Hamza is the Prophet's uncle, said, let him in. If he's come for good, we will give him good. And if he's come for evil, we will cut his own head off with his own sword. So immediately, Omar bin al-Khattab went in. And Rasulullah grabbed him by the shirt, like this, with two hands, and brought him down to the floor and said, What brought you here, Ya Omar? And Omar testified his faith and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. I testify that there is no God but Allah. And I testify that you, Muhammad, are the Prophet of Allah. SubhanAllah. Everybody was so happy they started screaming, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah is most great. Allah is most great. Allah is most great. Even though previously they had been keeping their Islam a secret. Now, there's another amusing story about Omar, which I really like, and I think it's funny. And that is, eventually the Muslims migrated to Yathrib, which is known today as Medina. And all the Muslims went to Medina secretly, because they were afraid of the persecution. Omar bin al-Khattab, radiallahu anhu, was different. He stood up in front of the Kaaba or in the middle of Mecca, I don't know exactly where, and he said, I am going to Medina. Whoever wants to make his mama grieve for him, his wife a widow, his children orphans, because Armala means widow. Yatim means orphan. Whoever wishes to do that, let him try and stop me. And true enough, a lot of Muslims followed Omar bin al-Khattab to Medina. SubhanAllah. Because when Omar bin al-Khattab was Muslim, they weren't afraid to practice their faith because he was so strong. In fact, a small personal comment before I finish. My own beloved son who was born in 1995 is named Omar and is one of the most popular names in the Arabic language. Another funny thing about Omar, when he embraced Islam, he went straight to the house of Abu Jahl, knocked on the door, Abu Jahl said, welcome, nephew, welcome. What can we do for you? And Omar bin al-Khattab said, I came here to tell you that I believe la ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah. And Abu Jahl said something like, curse you, and slammed into the door in his face. Omar bin al-Khattab was known as al-Farooq the one who divides right from wrong. And um, he was the second Khalifa of Islam, and he was murdered, murdered in Salah. But during the time that he was the Khalifa, justice was known to reign everywhere. He was very, very just and very, very firm and one of the greatest assets of Islam.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته